Well, Computer Programming Analyst Program, T177, is the name of the program and the program code that we use. This program, we have it for many years, but this doesn't mean the program is old. Uh, fortunately, we keep uh, updating this program, and today what you see uh, is, is the new version of T177 that we are offering to our students. Let's go ahead and introduce myself first. So as I said, my name is Mazia Masudi. I'm a professor and coordinator of the three programs at George Brown College. And you can see my email uh, there as well. I will post these things again at the end of this presentation. So in case if you have any question, please feel free to send me an email. Uh, the presentation will go through introduction, program overview, program uh, basics, uh, success in the program, what you have to do, what is the coursework, and what are the type of jobs you were looking for or uh, you should look for? And of course, advancement in the study. What are the things you can do after you finish this program? Uh, T127 uh, helps you to become a programmer. And uh, it has its own learning outcome, which you can simply look into it uh, if you want to, to figure out what is exactly you will earn in this program. But if I want to make a summary of that, basically you start the program uh, with zero knowledge and we make you a program. It will help you to become a program that you need uh, to actually become a developer or become a programmer. Now, what is unique about this program at George Brown College? Well, as I said, we update the curriculum nonstop. So we look into industry and we try our best to get most of those demand into our courses. So we equip our students to actually be able to find a dream job, something that they like to do after they graduate. Uh, we also have faculty from industry. Uh, we have part-time faculties that are already working in industry in different fields. So whoever is teaching a course is actually working in that field and in uh, industry at the moment. Uh, they always use the current equipment and technology. Of course, because of the pandemic, you were not able to come to the campus and we missed that opportunity. But we all hope that we get you in and you can come and see uh, the state-of-art uh, equipment we have. We keep updating all those equipment every semester as soon as we find an opportunity. Well, easy access, what did you see? That again, when you come back to the campus, definitely. We are in a very nice spot accessing TTC and the, uh, and the uh, trains, so we can get there, right? Um, Every, every semester, uh, we accept up to 150 or sometimes a little bit more. 150 seats are available for each intake. We have two intakes, uh, January and September. Uh, and student computer knowledge is varies. As I said, you do not need to know about computer programming, uh, but it is essential to have the basic knowledge of how to operate a computer. So you should be able to create a file, move a folder, send an email, surf the internet, which is common across everybody today, right? So that is the basic fundamental everybody should have. But other than that, we do not need you to know programming. Of course, if you know it's going to be asset, it's going to speed up the process of the learning because you can actually relate to what you know, right? Age ranges is between 19 to late 40s. Uh, I had a student who was 60, 65 years. Uh, they are very determined to learning. And actually, at that age, when you come to college, you really want to learn. But that's the, that's the age range we have. Uh, the program accepts both dynamic and international students. So the good thing is when you come to college, when you come to George Run, you will feel the multicultural uh, environment that everybody from different countries, different cultures work together and actually help each other to succeed in the program. Now, if I want to go ahead and talk about the overview of the program for T177, uh, we do have a semester schedule, meaning uh, we will schedule a few week, days of the week for the group of students, and then uh, we cover the courses that they have to take. Usually, you have between five to seven courses to take every semester, and these classes span over 15 weeks. So uh, you will have uh, labs and lecture, which I'll give you more detail about that later on. But uh, 
you will have, uh, let's say, lecture on Monday and the lab of the same course on, let's say, Wednesday, right? So if you look at this right now, we have Java class one, Java class two, Java class six. This is one of one of the courses that repeats every week on Monday, right? And then we have database and math and so on. So I, as you can see, the schedule stays the same for the whole 15 weeks. When I say 15 weeks, keep in mind that we have one week in between uh, as a break or the study week or intercession week, we call it, right? Where you actually take a break, you continue with the second half right after that week. So it, it boosts your energy. It, it helps you to actually catch up with the things that you could not do before on the uh, previous week. Now, if you look at the coursework, we would say, well, what are the things I have to study? Uh, how would I go and what should I do, right? Most courses have two hours of lecture and two hours of lab session. So what we do is this. You go to the lecture and then your instructor will start the lecture by actually going through theories. It talks about the things, the concept, and uh, the story of the material and whatever is related to this topic to actually bring your knowledge up to uh, what we have actually scheduled for that two hours of lecture. Now, what happened is, so you got the theory, of course, after that, you will move to the lab and did that, in that two hours of lab, you simply will practice that topic or that concept. So it's the best opportunity to put what you learn into practice on the same week. Uh, we have hands-on experience. Anything we want you to learn, we actually show you a similar concept, a similar way of doing it. And we will set up a lot of things, actually, a lot of uh, practices to help you practice these concepts. Uh, there are different types of assessments we have. Of course, we have quizzes, lab tests, lab practices, assignment either group or individual, and final exam and midterm exam. That's common across most of our courses. Uh, and uh, we also offer uh, tutoring. Uh, at this moment, we have online tutoring. I believe we're going to continue with that as well. Uh, we have tutoring from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days a week. And the way we do this is we actually hire students uh, in higher semesters to help students uh, in a lower semester, right? So those, those students, those tutors, has already taken all the courses you're taking on the very first semester, second or third semester, and then help you to understand the concept or find an issue with your assessments, right? Uh, these are paid, uh, paid tutoring, meaning you have the opportunity for apply for that job uh, when you pass the second semester. Remember, the program is three years, right? So you can become a tutor. Uh, if you perform well, if you have an excellent academic record, and if you can see the willingness in you to want helping other people, then you can get that job as a tutor as well. And as I said, it's a paid uh, job in the campus or online. Uh, your career involves uh, continuously research, study, uh, new technology. And I, I'm sure you all heard about this, that hey, if you do programming, then uh, you got to keep yourself up to date. You have to learn new stuff every day. That's very, very, very true. But keep in mind, the concept of every programming language is the same. So if you understand the fundamental, if you understand the concept of one language, then simply you can rely on these knowledge in learning other languages. So it's not like you spend the same amount of time to learn a second language or third language as long as you spend quality time on learning the very first language, the concept and the fundamental of the language. But of course, you always have to go ahead and find what is a new language, what is a new platform, what is the new way of doing A, B, A or B. So that is a common across uh, this career. But the good thing is, uh, one of the things that makes this uh, career very interesting as becoming a programmer is the challenge. You always have something to think about. You always have something to solve. You always feel smart because you're solving problem, right? Uh, and, and as I said, I, I read this when I was in high school a long time ago about, uh, about philosophy, but I changed it into programming. And it says, if you have to do programming, you have to do programming. If you don't have to do programming, you still have to do programming because as a human, no matter what we do, we always think about the problem surrounding us. As a human, we always want to find a solution to the problem 
we see this problem can be ours or somebody else's, but we always think about the solution. And that is what this program actually help you polish or become better at, right? Um, if I go to the other one as uh, how can you be successful in this program? What I'm, I'm, what I'm listing here is, is about everything. This is not just this program in our day-to-day -day life. I believe these are the things can help anybody to, to actually succeed, right? Uh, but definitely you have to be a self-starter. It means you should not wait for anybody to come and tell you, okay, study this, read this, practice this. You have to have some sort of schedule in your mind for yourself to actually do things. So you require to be a self-starter like any other position that you might get or had in, in the past. Ability to plan your work using course outline. Every single course that you take at George Brown or any other institution has a course outline, which is a contract between you, instructor, and the uh, college, right? So in the course outline, uh, dictates what's going to happen for next 15 weeks in this course. You have to be ahead of time by reading that and knowing what is coming next and prepare yourself. So make sure uh, course outline is what you have to study and what you have to schedule yourself around it. Attend each classes. It is very important. What an instructor can cover in two hours can simply uh, take you more than a day or two to actually comprehend. So at any classes in addition or this kind of career, uh, you don't really need uh, to uh, look for a job uh, because you can simply create your own startup by gathering people around you, having an idea. With this, you can actually uh, make the dream come true and have your own company, right? Course load time, commute, uh, uh, commitment to the program. Well, uh, you, you got to study three or four days and all Saturday. That's, that's if you want to be successful. So you got to continuously study. A semester is a full-time job, right? Uh, you cannot consider the part-time. It's a full-time job with overtime. And that's how you have to study to actually become successful, regardless of the college or the institution or anything that you do. This is consistent across, right? Uh, class start at 8 uh, a.m. and then is between 4 to 8 hours in duration. But it, we try our best to not let you have more than 4 days a week, right? We try. But sometimes it goes to 5, right? Sometimes. And uh, the schedule is not guaranteed because of the number of students we have, right? Some students work part-time during the program is not recommended because, uh, as I said, study by itself is, uh, is a full-time job with overtime. But we do have a student who works part-time. Myself, when I study, I used to work five days a week as uh, part-time, right? I, and uh, I could study too. But the only thing that uh, helps you to have a part-time job and study at the same time, <coughs> sorry, is to, to organize yourself, to have a schedule for yourself. It's very, very important to be able to organize yourself. And you always, you always remember your ultimate goal is to get the career, your dream career. And you're here to study, not to do the part-time work. But yes, you can as long as you're organized. Uh, some people ask about the laptop. I think Alex in the previous one actually explained this as well. Well, a processor are very important in, in the laptop, right? I'll talk about the detail of the course as I go, but I wanted to get away from this first. Uh, so a processor, how fast a computer runs a program or compile task, while faster processor speed may raise the price of a laptop is also make it more uh, efficient. Uh, so having fast processor definitely will help. Uh, Processor is one of the several specification and component to consider when buying a laptop. And you should also consider type of ports and RAMs, memory of a computer. Uh, size of a screen and uh, wanting a bigger screen. Uh, myself, I have three screens in front of me, right? These are all your personal preferences. Uh, so as I said, processor with fewer core is good. Processor with more cache is good. Uh, solid state hard drive definitely will help right, as it's going to be faster load. Uh, I always, always like to have 16 gigs of RAM, but 8 to 16 is good, 
to have for your computer. As a programmer, you don't really need super duper computer. You do not do too much graphic. You do not do game rendering, right? Uh, you just write everything is in the text and then you have a compiler to compile the code for you. But it's always good to have a powerful computer because it's not the only thing you will do in that computer. And also uh, choices between Mac or Windows is based on your preferences. So let me go ahead through the, uh, through the page here. So this is the landing page of T177 program, right? Uh, as you can see, uh, it's three years program, six semester. It is full time, right? And uh, as I said, if you go through the full description, you will simply go ahead and see the learning outcome. This is what defines what you learn when you graduate from this program. But let's go through the courses and briefly uh, go over these courses and get some ideas what is that we have to do. So as you look at uh, the very first semester, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven courses, two, six courses, sorry, right? So uh, IT Essential, uh, Applied Programming Logic, Web Development Fundamental, Business Application for Information Technology and Mathematics, right? Now, if, if you look at this, uh, the very first semester is common across three programs at George Brown College. So the reason we have done this, because your intention is to become a programmer. But after a while, you know, you, you think, you know what? I like networking better. I want to be a system technician. I want to be an architecture in networking environment, right? So the very first semester is, is similar for all these three programs and give you, gives you the opportunity to move to any of the mentioned program, if you like, from the second semester. IT Essential talks about the essential networking skill that is good to know. Right, uh, apply programming logic. This is one of the new courses that we have added uh, starting two semesters ago. So it gets your logic uh, to uh, to to become better, to understand as uh, what is that you need to do or you need to understand, and what are different ways of actually being able uh, uh, to write a program from A to Z. Web development fundamental. This this uh, helps you to actually build a simple website, right? So you learn about the techniques and languages like HTML, CSS, and so on uh, to get you uh, learning how to do uh, web programming. Of course, uh, web programming, this is a web development fundamental, is the essential course if you want to become a web developer. That's one of the essential uh, industry uh, career that is in high demand. So this is the first step in that, right? Uh, you, you take Janet or general education courses throughout the semester, I think at least three semesters, right? Business application for information technology is one of them. And then you will have mathematics for computer technology. Now, some people might ask what kind of, uh, what kind of math it is. It's a basic math on the very math very semester. And the second one, it just goes to binary conversion, hexadecimal conversion. And it does actually uh, lean toward computer. So it prepares you uh, to actually uh, find a shorter solution, optimized solution for your problem. Now, one of the questions I uh, usually get from a student is, what if I'm not good at math, right? It won't cause any problem. You really do not need to know math to become a programmer. But of course, if you know, you will write more optimized code. You will write code that process faster and it can do things better, right? But it doesn't mean if you don't know math, you cannot write a code that is optimized, right? Over time, with experience, you become better and better. And of course, you have to have a college English. On the second semester, we'll go through database management. Database management is where you store the information. No matter what you do, what program you write, you've got to store certain information to be able to retrieve this information when the user come back, right? So that's what you learn about the concept, about the techniques, and of course, about the operation of the database. On this semester, you also will be introduced to two different programming languages. The very first one is object-oriented programming language, which is about C sharp. is a language. It goes through the basic fundamental of an object-oriented language, and it gets you familiar with the environment and the terms. And of course, when I talk about object-oriented programming in C sharp, you will take some other courses in different languages on the same concept. But the good thing is, if you understand the fundamental of these topics in this course, you would not struggle with any of them that are coming in the future. Web programming is about JavaScript. JavaScript is a modern language, now become a modern language, right? And it's, it's everywhere. 
they write software with it, a web, web application. It can run on the client, on the server. So we start with that course to actually get you going with the other courses that are coming in future. And JavaScript is essential part of that language. We also have uh, Linux Essential. Uh, this name is already changed from Unix to Linux. And we already have, uh, I have a project in revamping the course content for the September. If you join us, you will see the changes, right? It gets you, it gets you familiar with the operating system Linux. Again, Linux is, is very important operating system. It's the most secure operating system, right? And uh, you, you get familiar with the terms, with the basic and fundamental of the Linux language. And this knowledge will help you again along with other courses that are coming in the future. Again, we have a second math, and then we have personal finance as a, a general education. College English is another one you take, and somebody might ask, why should I have personal finance? Uh, they all, uh, we all believe, right? If you cannot manage your money, you cannot manage your life, right? So maybe that was the intention to put that course in there to get you familiar with how to organize yourself uh, and get ready to actually uh, make a career out of uh, what you learn. On the third semester, we'll go and you'll learn a few other languages. Uh, we'll go with the PHP MySQL in COM1230, uh, where is, this is the very first course in web development environment, where you start learning about how to create web application, right? And store the information. We'll talk about uh, advanced object-oriented programming, which again, Again, is the ASP environment, but development. Now, if you remember on the second semester, you learn about the concept of uh, database. In this semester, we actually uh, go more about advanced stuff and you learn a lot about it too. System analysis design is another course that is a must for every developer, which allows you to actually draw uh, the, the workflow of a project and all the necessary assets you need to actually make a project successful. It's a project management course that allowing you uh, to plan your solution uh, to success, right? You have a Janet course again, uh, based, on your, uh, based on your preferences, you will select one. Uh, semester four, we go through data structure and algorithm. One of the favorite course that I love it very much because it covers a lot of concept. It, it uh, uh, polishes your logic about the way you think and it actually start giving you the necessary skill set, then when you go to AI or blockchain or any other environment, actually you have a good foundation to, to continue. Uh, web application development is about uh, Java on the web. We have done C Sharp on the web. We have done basic Java. Now is the time to learn how do we use this language on the web environment rather than creating a software. That's what it does. Agile, Agile software development is a flavor of uh, project management and that is very popular now and uh, since you have the knowledge of system analysis and design in the previous semester with the agile you will learn a methodology that you can use to speed up the process of development right we also teach you open uh, source development which is about python because later on you need this language python is very popular right so in this course you will learn the uh, learn the uh, fundamental and actually it makes you ready for the other courses we have in the fifth and sixth semester about AI and machine learning, right? Because uh, even there we use Python. Janet, you take another one, we go to the fifth semester. Now what happened is now you have studied a lot about all these material. It is the time to actually go ahead and do practice on those. Capstone is one of those that has two courses, Capstone one and two, you define what is that you wanna do and then you implement it on the sixth semester. We have mobile application development, two courses in fifth and sixth. One is iOS, the other one is Android. So you learn about mobile application development. Uh, we also have uh, DevOps, uh, which prepares you to automate the production release and bug fixes and so on. Very amazing uh, course, is a new course as well. Applied data science, full stack development one and two. And as you can see, uh, these two courses here are uh, divided into two semester uh, with the intermediate and or basic and advanced stuff. Uh, full stack development is about uh, becoming a front end or back end developer using new technology. And then uh, we have, as I said, applied data science and machine learning, applied machine learning, which uh, uses uh, artificial intelligence 
uh, and Python language to actually implement the uh, solution, right? So if I go back here, potential employment for T177 is web developer, computer programmer, program and analyst, computer system engineer, software engineer, mobile app developer, so many other jobs is in there. I just list a few. Uh, you can become a vendor and you can become uh, a guy who actually runs in a startup. You have a well opportunity to become in a startup company. Uh, here at GBC, we have Start GBC, which will coach you, mentor you, and help you to polish your idea of the startup. The career that, uh, the further study that you can have, uh, we have a few programs that you can go to, like if you are in T177, which this presentation is for, you can go to uh, Blockchain Development T177, or you can go to Mobile Application Development and Strategy, which I'm going to talk about it in the next slide. Uh, which is called T440. We have changed the code right now, right? Uh, we have this certificate. These are the certificate programs, so you can easily join those uh, certificate program right after you finish uh, T177 program, right? Uh, let me go ahead and get the uh, get the other presentation I have prepared. Okay. Okay. So if you go through this, this is T440 is about, uh, about mobile application development and strategy program, right? Uh, we do cover, these are the languages. The whole idea about this program is three semesters. Uh, the first and second semester, you will get familiar with the mobile technologies that you can use to build an app. On the third semester, you can either choose to go to co-op or you can do work integrated project, right? Uh, in order to get co-op, you have to have a minimum of 3.0 GPA, right? But uh, this program is designed for those who already have fundamental, who knows about programming, and then they can join this, right? If I go through the uh, courses, this is how it is. Most of the courses in this program is designed like this. Like, for instance, we have object-oriented programming in Java, then we go to introduction to Android. You will go uh, Swift programming, and then you go to introduction to uh, or uh, uh, iOS. Then we go about database, about advanced Android, advanced iOS, and web. So what we do is with this course, we assume you know programming, you come into the program, and if you don't know, then you struggle a lot, honestly. Uh, unlike T177, you must be a programmer to move into this program, right? And then uh, we start with the basic, and then we go to the advanced stuff. The semester is a block scheduling, meaning uh, you finish one course in three weeks and then you move to the next week. It's not having 15 weeks, uh, all these courses are over in 15 weeks. No. Every course you start, you finish the first course over 15 sessions, which is three weeks. You will have the exam, you will have the assignment, and then you move to the next course, which again is three weeks, right? So remember, it's, it's a very intensive work. Uh, it, it runs at night, unlike T17 that is in the daytime. This is at night, start around 7, right, 6 to 7. And uh, it goes back to back, and you have to work very hard to actually catch up. And that is why you really need uh, a very extensive uh, knowledge about the program. 25 seats available, two in tech, very similar to T177. Uh, student computer knowledge varies, but this should be student knowledge must have, a student must have the knowledge in computer. Uh, range again is between 20, 30, uh, but we do have people coming from industry, they're already working, they wanna upgrade their skill set. We have international and domestic like T177. Uh, you must have two to three years college diploma or bachelor degree in information technology, uh, computer science or related field to be able to join the program and the English efficiency uh, must be there too, which you can simply find in the George Brown website the requirement. Semester one breakdown, you start with the Java program languages, you then this, this is just to freshen up your uh, memory from what you have done before. Introduction to Android development, so fundamental introduction to iOS development and introduction to database. This is one semester, each of those courses, three weeks, right? 15 sessions. Then you move to the second semester and keep in mind that all these courses have prerequisite, both programs. So you must pass a, a course in order to advance, to take the future courses, right? 
Uh, semester two, uh, advanced iOS development. You had the introduction, now you get the advanced one for both iOS and Android web development, fundamental advanced web develop development, mobile application strategy and work term preparation. Now, when we go advanced web development and web development fundamental, keep in mind that when you develop a mobile app, you can create a hybrid app, an app that is not uh, written into the uh, into uh, native language, is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, right? And it has its own backend, but can run in many different devices with Ionic and some other uh, platform that we have. On the semester three, you either go for co-op or you go for work integrated project, right? Uh, potential employment, app developer, consultant, mobile app developer, iOS and Android, mobile game developer, web developer, iOS engineer. Again, you have the opportunity to have your own startup if you have a good idea. And definitely you, you start networking around and find the other talent that you can work with to actually shape your startup. And a startup GBS is, GBC is always there to help you. So here is, these are my information again. Uh, Mazia Masudi, program coordinator. Uh, we have the admission uh, contact for both international and domestic here. And I have the website listed 